Well, not long ago, I was directed towards a post on a fashion website called Glamour.com where somebody was asking the question of is it okay if other people are seen going barefoot in your office? Apparently the author had seen it happen and uh, was confused by it and wondered, well, is that allowed? Is it? I don't know, should it be? Someone, someone please tell me, what do you think? Well, if you're really struggling to work it out, then it's probably fine, isn't it? Why wouldn't it be? In instead of asking the question, are you okay with somebody else doing something that has no bearing whatsoever on how they or you perform in your job, why not just ask, why are they doing it? Is it good? Do I want to try it or not? And let me make my choice about whether I want to do it and let them make theirs. What I'm going to say next is based on the comment that I actually posted on there and it's still there for you to read. I'll, I'll stick a link down there. The idea of what looks professional is an entirely arbitrary construct. To prioritise which over what's practical, comfortable, morale boosting and healthy would not make good business sense. Now I've already talked about uh, how shoes can make you feel hot and sweaty and smelly, how they can lead to a build-up of bacteria and viruses and fungi inside your shoes that are bad for you, how feeling uncomfortable in any way is just going to reduce your productivity. What it boils down to is if you feel as though you don't want to be wearing shoes, then if you're wearing shoes, that's a distraction and it's going to place a limit on how well you can perform in your job. If you're a person who is much happier with shoes on, who doesn't care either way, then it doesn't matter. But if you're a person who would rather not be wearing shoes, then you're better off not wearing shoes, and the people you work for are better off with you not wearing shoes. If other people see you barefoot and don't like it, it's only because they seem to hold dear this arbitrary idea of what looks professional. So they must question themselves why. Why is it not professional not to wear shoes? You'll need a better answer than everyone does it. That's just circular. My personal experience of working barefoot is that my bare feet present me as relaxed and approachable and unintimidating. It's also a great conversation point which is useful for getting to know someone for the first time. It gives people a, a non-work related line of questioning that they can follow to allow them to feel that they're getting to know me a little bit on a personal level and they could find that reassuring. But you don't have to be like me, you don't have to be barefoot all the time. Uh, if we're just talking about, as I'm sure the people on Glamour are, turning up in the office and taking your shoes off and spending most of the day without them, well that's, that's very, very different, isn't it? First of all, you've got your shoes there, so any of those sudden emergencies like an important meeting, client visits or whatever coming in, you can address those when they come up. The rest of the time it's just a question of you sitting down, getting on with the work that you have to do, other people in the same room getting on with the work they have to do, and whether or not you're wearing shoes is really irrelevant to everybody. And don't let anyone tell you that you can't work without your shoes on because your feet look ugly or they smell, because shoes do that. People who wear shoes end up with feet like that, people who don't, don't. And don't you dare tell anybody else that. Even if you think their feet are ugly, then just deal with it, as you would if you didn't like their hairstyle. One other thing worth mentioning is whether there's any possible difference between men and women with regards to them going barefoot at work and how they may be perceived. As I see it, any differences there are balance out. It's not exactly the same, but there are pros and cons both ways. Women may find themselves expected to wear a raised heel and really bad for pressure on the feet. And women's fashion also uh, tends to encourage uh, more open shoes and therefore women's feet are exposed more within those shoes so they tend to decorate them more and make their feet look pretty um, as a matter of course for wearing those kinds of shoes. So if they end up taking them off, then first of all, one look at the shoes tells you that they've got a very good reason for taking them off because they're really uncomfortable to wear. And also, once they've taken their shoes off, women's feet are probably in a decent state to look at so people aren't going to complain about them. For men it's different, they're, they're in closed shoes the whole time and they're flat, so there's that, they've got that advantage certainly. But uh, they don't have any, any airflow around their feet so the smell's definitely going to be a problem and their feet not being exposed very often uh, are probably not well maintained so if they do come out um, after a long period of hibernation in shoes 
they're not going to look great necessarily and also people just aren't expecting to see them okay, if you see a woman barefoot even if you're not expecting to see anybody barefoot at all it's not a huge leap for the man that's just not the case most of the time time and again I've come across loads of people saying oh I love to see women barefoot men no their feet are ugly what come on just just stick that through I've gone a very, very long way around saying something that's really very, very simple. If you'd rather go barefoot at work, just do it. That's really all you have to say. Uh, and then all you have to say to everybody else is, if somebody that you work with is barefoot, then that's their business, not yours. Deal with it. And before I leave you, I just want to make a quick announcement that there's a new album out, and I'm on it, and there's a link down there for you to go and explore so you can listen to it. Not my band's album, that's still to come, but um, this one's good too. All right. Oh, and by the way, I did hear back from the Advertising Standards Authority, but they said that uh, I actually need to approach trading standards instead. So I'm going to do that, and hopefully I'll have something more interesting to tell you soon. Take care, and I'll see you soon.